Here's CCXRC, and we unboxed this little ECX Barrage UV the other night. But uh, during the unboxing, it just didn't feel like the right time to go ahead and figure out how to accessorize it with the little pieces, the plastic pieces that it comes with. We've got a whole uh, little pile of them over there with the screws, with the uh, like the jack and windshield wipers. There's a little snorkel that I've got right here. And so I was just thinking I would go ahead and do a little live video while I accessorize these because there's really no instructions in mine that showed how to do this. So I thought I'd give you guys a hand because it was a little bit of a pain to get some of this stuff in there. And uh, there's screws with it and you gotta figure out there's not like, there's a couple of spots where they show you there's little indentations. And so that's pretty obvious that you're gonna put a, a screw in there. Uh, but for the mirrors, it's not obvious because there's only one hole and then you're also supposed to put a screw on the back of it. So uh, I will show you guys what we've got going on with that here in just a minute. We'll get working on it. So basically what I've got is I've got some shoe goo and I've been using this uh, like on the door handles when they go in. I will also use it with the windshield wipers because they don't have a screw to hold them in place. And so I'll just basically come from the back of the or the inside of the vehicle and just apply a glob of it in there since mine has a big opening and doesn't really give me much fine control hey chevy man what's going on thanks for tuning in it's getting a little late but i thought i'd just work on a little project here i was up and it just seemed like something to do so let's see first off i'm using a what am i using here a 564th inch little drill bit. And that's what I'm using on the sides of the truck here. Uh, I can't find my body reamer or my post reamer, so I'm using a drill. And so I'm just slowly, to try and keep it from walking, I'm just, I'm taking it slow to go in. And I'm just gonna drill both of them while I'm here. Whoops, see it was walking there. Just wanted to walk. Go a little bit slower until it bites. There we go. That'll give us a little bit of room. I'm actually gonna round them out a little bit more because getting the screw through was a little bit of a pain on the other side. So we're just gonna kind of help it out a little bit. So there you go. Got two holes in here. Thanks for the like, whoever left the like. What else? I didn't, I didn't finish saying everything that I've got here. I've got two different sizes. I've got some really small drill bits as well that we'll show in just a second. Now I'm trying to work around the camera and this was tricky enough without working around the camera. So let's see if I can do this or not. So I'm using like a magnetic screwdriver. It just kind of helps. I'm gonna bend the body back like so and just line up the screw and push it through like that. I'm going to grab, I put all these pieces so far away, one of these little guys right here. How's it going, Jimmy? This will be like to clip onto the, uh, what do I have left? I have the, the jack, and I think the other thing is like a wheel. Looks like a tool you use to kind of take a wheel off or something off of a rim. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I'm just holding this in place and using the screwdriver to tighten it down. I'm gonna have to do this twice. Uh, Nico says he's getting a slash four x four VXL on Saturday. That's awesome. Hey Buck, hey Honey Lulu. I figured that, you know, accessorizing this is uh, fun enough without having a camera in front of me. Why not put the camera between me and the thing that I'm trying to hold on to? <laughs> Am I right? All right, so I'm basically doing a bear hug around the camera right now. Same deal with this. It'll look a lot cooler when we get these on, and then we'll uh, we'll move on to the mirror because that one was took a little bit of thought, not too much, but uh, it's trickier to get in there with the screwdriver. But these are really cool little crawlers. I'm having fun with it, but it just it felt like it needed more and when I look at the packaging and I look at it with all these accessories on it that's what's missing as far as the look for me 
Jimmy's saying maybe one weekend we could hit up Ipswich. That'd be cool, man. All right, so now we're just going to snap in our little handy-dandy tools. Yes, I said handy-dandy. I'm not sure how this one clips in, actually. That doesn't seem right. There we go. That looks pretty rocking. So we've got these tools on the side. Does anybody know what this tool does? I honestly don't know what it is. But that looks like you'd get it on your rim to be able to pry off a tire. And my uh, non-car guy <laughs> opinion. And then we've got the axe and the shovel on the other side. And the snorkel's gonna go in here. I think we'll, we'll wait till the end for that. So we've got a guide here that we can already see for our mirror, which is right here. Now the mirror has a very small little pin off of it. And so I'm actually gonna take my, my drill bit size and I'm gonna go down to a little bit smaller bit just to try and get rid of some extra play and movement that'll occur there if it's too big. So there's a little divot in the door. We're just gonna do that. We'll also see why the little one is good in a second here. So now that I've got that in here, I'm gonna line up the, the mirror. I'm actually gonna take my drill bit and go right in through this mirror and drill out another hole and use that as my guide. And then we're going to actually switch back to the larger bit because we want that screw to be able to get through here easily because it's kind of in a tough spot to get it in there. And so I'm just going to open this up a little bit. Like so. And that should allow me to more easily still not easy to get in here. I did grab some needle nose pliers this time, so I did not have those last time when I was working on it. So Jimmy says I'm right, that it is a tool for off-road tire changes. So we're just gonna try and see if we can use this to get this lined up and in place. All right, so I made it big enough that it pushed the screw right on through. And we've got a screwdriver. We're going to just kind of wedge and hold this in place as best we can. Try and make this look as easy as it isn't. <laughs> and then we're going to try and get this to bite on the mirror here. Making sure that we line up the other hole as it does tighten. So that it'll fit in here. As you can see, it's starting to tighten down. All right. So it looks like it was a good idea for me to go and do that other side. So I'd have a game plan <laughs> going into the live video. There we go. Wow, that is not straight at all. We'll have to, we'll have to kind of just twist this a little bit if we can. There, that feels, it looks all right. We might have cheated a little bit. But I also just messed up the uh, sticker a little bit too. Get to stick back down. All right, so to the front, there's two very faint marks here underneath the windshield that we're going to have to find. One is right here. And the other is right here. Shen is saying that he just linked in the comments to uh, a nine tooth pinion gear that we can use on these to make them run better. So thank you very much for that. All right. It will, I could see how it would want a little bit more punch. Wayne Kibler's in here from Wayne Kibler's RC Adventure. Says he loves barrages. 
All right, so this is actually a little bit bigger. Probably should have left the larger size on. But I cheat all the time and just kind of wiggle the screwdriver around or the drill around to try and kind of open up the hole. But that's not working. We're going to do it the right way here. Go to our bigger bit. So what projects are you guys working on right now? Are you just chilling out at the end of the night, sitting back, watching YouTube, laying in bed, waiting for the day to end? What do you guys got going on? All right, that fit pretty good. And we have one more here. Wow, that kind of seems like they're a little to the left where the, the holes were. That, as far as practicality goes, those are not in a good spot. Probably should have just lined it up myself, but they're not actually working, and so we're not going to worry about it too much. What's going on, Lewis? Well, that was a big glob of shugu. Uh, that's just to add a little weight to the front end. That was intentional. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Look at that mess. All right. Get it on there. Well, I don't know that those are going anywhere. <laughs> it's also going to take a little while to dry. All right. So I'm just going to have to watch out for that as I continue on. Give me a second. I'm going to find something to wipe this glue off. All right, I got something. <laughs> Shen, says, <laughs> Shen says, OMG, those won't ever fall off. I know, right? I'm just trying to wait down the front end. Kind of needs it up there in the front. <laughs> uh, lordy, lordy. All right, so I did notice, and coming back around here, we're going to be putting the, um, the snorkel on. And it feels like it's going to go right in here. So. It looks like one of the pins is going to go at that dot that sticks out. And then it looks like the screw is going to fit right there. So I'm just going to kind of put the pin in first. And that's going to dictate where everything else goes. I'm just going to use my finger as a guide here. I'm not going to go fast because it would tear my finger up. But I want to use it to kind of hold the drill bit. There it goes. So using the same basic idea. And so this one actually has a nut that goes on the back of it as well. So we're going to put this in place. In that hole we just drilled out. Everything is so small on this. So yeah, so I'm going to go like, like this. Kind of trace that body up. And so that gives us our spot for our next hole. There we go. Nico says he's making a basher, but still capable of things like axial fest. That's cool. So then our screw pushes right in. Man, why do these holes, when they actually go in, not look at all <laughs> like where I had them? All right. That's just going to have to be what it is, folks. All right, so we're just going to have to use our needle nose pliers to hold the nut in there and then I need to get I don't have very good needle nose pliers these ones that I grabbed unfortunately I bent working on I think it was the Revo so I'm actually going to use these little Cricut tools right here see if it'll hold it in place just long enough to get the screw started This 
<laughs> could make me very frustrated. All right, let's get the screwdriver ready. And I dropped it again. All right, so here's what happens with these needle nose. See how they get all wonky? I'll see if I can't. The second you put any pressure on them, they, they do that wonky thing. But we'll see if we can't get it to bite. Oh, I think we got it. I can't really tell. I can't see. Oh, we did get it. You guys probably can't see that very well, but there it is. We got that right in there. And so our crooked <laughs> uh, snorkel doesn't really match our frame. And I just stuck my finger in that glob of, <laughs> uh, yay, shoe goo inside there. Now there's almost none on that. All right, so the last thing left to do for me, well, I've got two things left. I've got this little door handle, which you basically just go right to the outsides of this little indention, which actually makes a nice little hold as well for your drill bit, keeps it right in place. Do that. Push this in. Oh, is it not really lined up? It's just off, but I think we can force it. Yeah, we can force it in. And then I'm gonna do my big globs of shoe goo on the back again. Try not to glob it as bad. I need to get a smaller container or a toothpick up here to work with. There we go. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. I know, right, Shane? This stuff stinks like to high heaven I should open the window oh I just heard the TV's on I wonder if uh, it's gonna gonna be loud enough that I'm gonna get like YouTube violations so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add this uh, little vinyl sticker to the back just cuz I'm coming. I forgot my... Can anybody hear me still? Oh, he's saying you can't hear the game. That's good. I thought you meant you couldn't hear me. I had the hockey game on. So we're going to throw down a little bit of alcohol on here. Clean it. Dry it. Make it a great surface. And then that looks good. Boom, all done. I think that looks sharp. All right. So let's see, is this dry enough to get on here? I think it is. Let's. With these type of connectors, I just don't like them. It's hard to see everything so small. I usually put dots on them with a little marker or a paint pen so that I know which side I'm on. And so that both the dots line up, and that's my easy way of knowing. And so I did see what the other, the, these two cables are for now. Uh, what does it say? Nice, bro. R.E.P. Dad. Mud up after cuz. Aloha. 
Um, Nico's asking what battery does it take? Saying uh, Wayne and Honey Lulu are saying nice and perfect. Somebody's saying something about Jack Daniels. <laughs> Wayne's saying got to have the sticker. Cool. Cool, cool. So, yeah, so there's two of these coming off the ESC, and the reason for that is one of them is for the FPV camera in the other version of this, the more expensive version that I don't have that I kind of wonder if I would have liked. But I liked not spending more money, so I guess that's the other like. Oh, yeah. All right. Somebody was saying that they want to see a drive to make sure that the accessories made it work better or <laughs> something. I didn't see that. Good morning, RC Hunter. All right. Actually, Maddox says, wow, it looks so much better. I completely agree. And tomorrow, guys, I don't know if I'm going to do live or not, but I'm going to take my lunch break and I'm going to head up to our hobby town because they've got Mini Z, the Kyosho Mini Z in stock now. I've been waiting for that. They've also got a little track that they're working on. And so I plan to pick up one of the Mini Zs while I'm there. They run on AAA batteries, so I'll just buy a pack or bring a pack of batteries with me and see if I can't just run it on the track while I'm there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I hate body clips uh, on big cars, and I really dislike them on here. PA Car Guy says the sticker adds 19 horsepower. <laughs> All right. RC Hunter, watch this, dude. I'm going to break it. There's no A-arms on this one, but I'm sure they're going to snap the axle in half or something. I just know it. I t drive it whoop, Drive it right off the edge of the table. <laughs> What can we crawl over here? Oh, we're hung up. The axle's hanging up. Yeah, it looks so cool. Let's see here. Maybe we'll step it up. See if we can handle two of them here. I'm just gonna turn it around. Call me Heath, says RC Hunter. Sure thing, Heath. Oh, look at that tire kind of deflating. We are high centered right now. Oh, but we're able to fight it off. Trying to avoid the high center here. Shen RC says this little thing's strong. Weak part, drive shaft, few joints pop. Uh, huh. Oh, yeah. Get that flex going. And let's see the drop. Oh, we're kind of stuck down in there in the front. You know what? We can turn this thing. <laughs> All right, we're stuck down in there. Got to get a little power up. There it is. PA Gar guy says, call me Joey. This is going to be tricky getting everybody's names. Look at that nice little, can't get the camera low enough. Yeah, flexing on a Wednesday. Heath asked, what is the price, Tony? Heath is the RC Hunter for the people watching the chat later, uh, which is why I usually use the names so that it's, you can tell. Nico Lund says, call me mama, all right. Mama. <laughs> Nothing like trailing on the table. Ain't that the truth? Oh, get that tire turning. Pull it. Pull it. Oh. I knew I was going to hang it up. Yeah, so these things are cool. They cost... This one's 99 bucks. Fully ready to run. Even comes with the AA batteries that you need. Uh, to run the controller. So uh, it has a nickel metal hydride battery in it. Oh, I don't know if we're going to make this. It's kind of a steep. I mean, scale wise, this container, which is very small, is huge. <laughs> I mean, it's bigger than the tire. So I'm trying to get that tire up. 
kind of come at an angle and then turn my way into it. But I'm definitely high centering once I get there, so I'd have to really power over it. Yeah, you have to hop it up. I don't like hopping if I can avoid it. It doesn't feel scale because most people aren't like just wanting to throw their uh, <laughs> their car into full, full speed and see what happens like we do with these trail trucks. Just power out, you know? <laughs> but it can be fun at the same time. Yeah, this thing's awesome. So my boys and I are going to be building some kind of a little track for it. I don't know what yet. Looks like the, look at the headlights. They're like volting out. As it's needing to take power. Whoa. We're dropping in. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that just nice? Let's just stop and let's stop and marvel this, at this for just one moment here. Get the get the pan move around. Yeah, that's nice. Probably better from the back here. All right. Let's see if we can actually do it, though. It may, it may look cool, but may not be able to pull it out. Oh! Now we're doing the opposite. Oh, yeah. Check that. King of the Mountain. Someone said I sound like Mr. Rogers for a second. <laughs> uh, just look at it. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Look at it. Can you, are you looking at it? Just look at it. All right. Uh, Shan RC is saying the new versions of the RGT, same truck, use a 1S LiPo and try to, it works and it slows it down. Huh. The 1S LiPo slows it down. Interesting. And we are off. So yeah, a little ECX Barrage now customed out. I love the black tires on this thing. I mean... I'm a little bit partial. You guys saw my uh, my Jeep Mighty <laughs> or my Mighty Jeep FC. So um, I chose this is for Kagan <laughs> Green Frog RC. I chose the blue one because the yellow one is just ugly, um, and so that's why I chose the blue one. He chose the yellow one. Uh, I don't know why because it's the ugly one. Anyway, he was joking with me about that. <laughs> earlier i'm not really that opinionated about it i just like the blue i mean i'd like to get uh green if i could have or gray would have been awesome you know i don't have a whole lot of blue well that's not true i have a blue x max i have the blue low c but in general i don't have a lot of blue cars especially ones that i've chosen you know i like the black black and red gray that kind of bright green so I've got my bright, bright green team associated over there that I painted myself with the black and green. I've got black and reds over here. Gray. Black and red behind that light. White, black, and red with the zombie. Um, yeah, so that's kind of my, my more favorite color patterns to be in. So, or palette, not pattern. Yeah, Mr. Man saying thank God for spray paint. I could spray over it, um, but that's just chips. And for what it is in the house, it's harder to lose. <laughs> that's for sure, right? Uh, but I mean, overall, the de the design of it is just so scale and really cool. Um, right down, you know, the drive shafts that they've got on here, four link suspension. Um, yeah, it's it's really cool. It would be neat to find ways to just, you know, even improve on them. I don't know if anybody makes, probably nobody does, but it'd be nice to get some tires maybe that have some foam in them. Um, again, I feel like if it had a little more weight at some times, it would want to keep going. There's times where it feels like it gives up because it, 
doesn't have that weight, but maybe that extra shoe glue I just put in there is going to help it out. Maybe that's all it needed. Because scale-wise, that's quite a bit of weight <laughs> for this truck. Shan, I need to see yours. Do you have the videos of it with the TSL Swampers on it? Shen's done a whole bunch of upgrades. He's had his for a while. Oh, it's looking good again. It's just so cool. I mean, if I had a different camera, you could make these things look a whole lot more larger than they are. Hey, Ben's in here. How's it going? Buy it, break it, fix it, repeat. We're just playing with toys on the, the bench here for a minute. The main part was getting it, showing people how to put the parts on because there weren't any instructions, at least with mine. And uh, then somebody wanted to see it drive, and then it keeps doing, like, these really cool poses, so we just keep doing it. <laughs> Shen saying the, RG, the RGT tires are also more aggressive pattern. Very cool. Uh, if you guys are in here and you aren't over looking at the buy it, break it, fix it, repeat, he's got a really cool giveaway going, not only for an X-Max, uh, but also this uh, this Thursday on the Tank RC, you want to be on watching on that. But you have to go to the Tank has a video talking about it, and it tells you how to enter for a drawing for a uh, Reefs Servo, which are awesome Reefs RC. I have them on my radar to get when I start doing some crawling stuff again. I tried to get one for my uh, Metal Militia. They just weren't fast enough for the um, for the monster truck scene. So it has tons of torque though for, for scale crawling and getting stuck in the rocks. Nico's, or Mama is asking who and it's buy it, break it, fix it, repeat. If you look in the comments, you can see Ben's in there. And uh, you can click over to his channel and see some of the giveaways he's doing. But it's also at The Tank RC. If you uh, just type that into the YouTube search, you'll find a live video that he did with uh, Ben from Buy It, Break It, Fix It, Repeat about a giveaway he's doing on uh, RC Hangout with Tank. So check it out. Uh, PA car guy whose name was Paul, Pete, James. I, I, I'm blanking. It's, there's been too many names now thrown at me. <laughs> uh, where do you get some sticker? Joey, that's it. Axiomatic, you are so much better at remembering than me. Uh, Shen's got something. I gotta, I'll have to come back to it. But uh, if you just go to my Facebook page, that's the best place to message me. Um, and you just message me your address, and I'll get some stickers for you in the mail. I still owe Ben stickers. I have his name. I would show you guys. I have a note in my phone. But my phone's doing this video, and it has his address, which is not cool to just show here. But I've got an address for, like, three people that I've had to get stickers to for a while. But... Um, I've been traveling a lot for work and then playing catch up when I get home. And it seems like it'd be so simple and so quick to do. It's just finding time. So maybe what I'm going to do is right after I do this video, I'll just sit down and get the envelopes out. I got to find out where my wife keeps those again. <laughs> I used to have my own stash when I had a, when I was working at my last job and I'd keep them in my desk with the stamps in my desk. And I would at lunchtime mail them out from there. And so it was a lot easier, uh, but now I uh, have to d do it all with our home supplies, which mine were home supplies, but they were at work, so I knew where they were. But you guys have wives or husbands or maybe not, maybe maybe not a significant other, and maybe uh, you don't. But those of us who do, you know how stuff gets moved around, and nobody tells you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, by the way, I moved all of the stamps and all of the envelopes to a completely different room that you would never think to look in, but that's where they are. <laughs> yeah, this thing is rad. All right, so 
Um, I, I don't know why it does feel like it's handling different. I don't know if that little bit of weight does really help. Uh, you know, just the littlest bit. The body doesn't seem as flimsy. Seems to have a little control. Anyway, guys, I don't want to keep you here for no reason. Um, Shen was saying something. Let me pull that up and see if I can see what he said, and then we'll go from there. Shen Man says his wife hijacks his too. Nico says, "Do you pay shipping?" I do pay the shipping. Axiomatic. See, you guys are you guys are on board. I literally don't know where they are. I did find my stickers though, so that's good. I I had to order more because I lost them, and so. I got the new stickers in, which are here, with those Cuban something or others that I picked up for some friends. <laughs> so I have stickers again, and uh, yeah, I just have to find the stamps and everything. And I just got Axiomatic stickers in the other day, man. Thanks for that. I've got a sticker wall going here, my charger sticker wall. And then I've also got a sticker thing that I started doing here on the table. But I also have a spot downstairs in the garage on all my workbenches. I have like the bottom plate is just covered in stickers. Uh, I'm trying to cover them in stickers out on the work RC workbench out there. And so that's my favorite spot having the stickers um, is going along that whole two by four that's right under the, the lip there. So it looks really cool having all the stickers line in that thing so i've got a buy it break it fix it repeat out there um grace with rc's jprc southern builds whole bunch of people ben's in i need more yeah i've got about well i need one for here i did run out this is where i should have put one of them uh, but i hadn't started spreading them out here so i just added rc noob here uh, beef tube. So all these have just started getting added. Before it was just the ccxrc.com. And then now I've decided I'm just going to kind of do this whole front part of this table too. Maybe all the way around it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, but yeah, so I'll get some stuff in the mail tonight for y'all. Where's the... There. Oh, whoop, there it was. So yeah, I'll work on that. Try and make it make myself get better at, at doing that. Because uh yeah. Everything changed when I when I started working from home and um I kind of lost every every place that I had everything stashed away that I knew where it was and what drawers has changed. So that's good. But thanks y'all for tuning in. Um Beanfield Alice Charles is going to design some stickers for being filled. Um, I'm going back up here. Anything steep, Tony, for it to climb? Uh, I I had a board the other day. Let me see if I still have it out here. What do I have? What do I have that it could climb? Give me one second. Uh, Chevy Man says, you know, it's the VA store. It looks like they already have a track up. They do have the track up. Hey, Lulu, I would love a sticker from you. I need to get one from Steve O.D. too. Um, here. We can make this one steep. Have to move the camera back. Okay, that's actually quite steep. Don't think it's gonna. Don't think it's gonna hand that handle that. Let's uh, let's slowly take it up a notch. If it does make it over here, it'll have no place to go. Oh. It wants to, it doesn't have the power. <laughs> Turtled. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty steep. Uh, 
and it actually stays planted to a degree. All right, so we'll, we'll tame it down a little bit. Because it was, at first, it was on there, and then once I'd stopped the momentum, it would not allow it to go. All right, let's see. This is pretty steep right here. Browning out. Oh, it wants to do it. So I'm gonna have to carry momentum if I'm gonna wanna make it of that. There we go. But it feels like the battery's already kind of juiced a little bit too. So, oh yeah, I have a Shen RC sticker in there. I just put in there too. I just got those in. Well, those came in about a month ago, but I was traveling. There, makes it. Shen saying to use a hobby grade charger, it'll be better. Yeah, so I just got a Shed RC stickers in. And those are behind this drone that I'm charging up right now. Here, but he's also down on my workbench because that's where I want to have a lot of stickers. So yeah, it made it on top of the mountain here. Should we try and launch it? I bet it could jump this. Let's see. I'm trying to move stuff around. There's not a whole lot of room on this table. Maybe I'll do it. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a jump. It did straight drop though onto the front of it as it came over. <laughs> Not quite enough speed to, to catch some air, but it's it's pretty capable, especially for like around the house obstacles, like kids Legos and stuff. You can crawl right over that stuff. The drag brake's quite aggressive. There it goes. I see. It sounded like it's making some noise after I jumped it. Or attempted to jump it, I should say. But yeah, this thing handles real cool. I think ECX, you know, the, the, the thing I returned, the 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 the, the, uh, the monster truck was really cool. It just had a bad ESC in them that was burning up, it sounds like. There it goes. And uh, I think they've got a winner on their hands with these things. And these have been out for a while. There's other models of it that look more like the honcho um, that a lot of people have. I think that's what Shen RC has. And the Heath, the RC Hunter, is saying at least it lasted more than six minutes. Ain't that the truth? Killed that, uh, I killed that armor pretty quick after I was, you know, saying how strong it is and the beating that, uh, I see Rich Duperbash give it at the skate park, like hard landing it on the concrete. And, uh, I launched it at myself and again hit the brake in the air thinking it'll stop it from coming at me, which is funny. Uh, in hindsight, and just totally nosedived it onto that. So it happens. I got new ones in the mail. And uh, I've got other things to play with in the, the meantime. Right now, actually, I didn't mean to come up and do this, but it was on the bench, and I was going to have to clear it off in order to do what I was going to do, 
which is put a new servo in my grandma digger because I toasted that at the races this past week. I think I need to get a servo saver on that because you wouldn't think you'd need one in the retro class, but when you really think about it, you're always slamming into obstacles. Like the front tires are hitting those, the logs that make, um, not logs, but it's like the log stack, uh, but it's two by four setup. They got to hit and, you know, pop a wheelie off. And then, you know, so you're hitting just front end, you know, and uh, your tires are just jamming into everything. So I should probably get a servo saver for that. And I did buy a new Savax servo to put on there. And so I have that to do. And then I have to fix my E-Revo. I have the old first gen E-Revo. And I'm going to be putting the... Um, the metal drive shafts on it because I keep snapping the plastic ones and so I think this is going to be a bit of a job so at this point in the night I don't feel like doing it uh, I may still do the servo um, RC Hunter why do I always start in the bowl Tony <laughs> I don't know that thing does not have a good approach at all or landing because you hit and then it's a curved landing or it's angled it's like a triangle shape. It's the worst thing to start on. Um, if I break and fix or repeat, says he ordered the 132nd scale Defender. That's cool. I did see that. PA Car Guy Joey says, I want all your RCs. I do have some cool ones. The other one that I need to do, though, this was I was hoping to do with maybe some Christmas money. I've got this cool guy here. That's just sitting there doing nothing. Ugh. Let's just set it there, maybe. Right here. So I need to get two brushless motors and ESCs for this. Because running Claude Buster based <laughs> axles. So, uh, I, it has a servo on it. It looks like something I'd probably want to change out. But it, it has one there. Axiomatic, yeah, man. Big one. So, yeah, it's, it's real nice. It just doesn't drive. <laughs> so, this is my long project. It was the Hulk body, but it's going to be a snake bite is what I've got for it now. And uh, I do have, these are just clod tires, so there's no foams or anything. So these are just like, put it on to look good. Or you put these on a clod buster. This will have too much weight and power for these tires. So these will be coming off here and they could go on a clod buster. And I'll be putting on, I think the Proline monster truck tires on this one. They're a little bit wider. So, these are Road Dog IMEX. Austin's saying, Tony, are so live on Facebook? I don't go live on Facebook very often because nobody tunes in there. Nobody follows me on Facebook, really. So, here is the uh, snake bite body. So, this is, for the people that have been watching the little show things, this is my little... Um, uh, camera area got a whole bunch of just camera accessories and bags and all that that get tucked in here um, my little vinyl cutter section printer for printing stuff that can be then put on the t-shirts and stuff so I got a t-shirt press here this is kind of a a charge station I don't usually do lipos up here it's just uh, except maybe drone ones I just picked up a um, Pro Quad Micro charger. So I should maybe be able to do the batteries for the barrage in that. But um, yeah, so this is the body. That's backwards. That's gonna go on it. Doesn't that look cool? <laughs> I think it looks super cool. And the tires look super cool too. So I need to get uh, red LEDs to put here for like eyes and then I need to do some white plastic fangs coming off the front 
But yeah, it's a bad press, I think, on this, but it actually looks cool. Um, it looks like it's a vacuum form, whoever did this. Uh, so, but it, it kind of just looks like a tonneau cover on there, doesn't it? It looks pretty cool. Anyway, tonneau cover. Man, that's a word you used to say all the time. You don't hear that very much anymore. At least I don't. But yeah, so this is all airbrushed. Somebody had this airbrushed. I got it um, from Josh Sanford. He's just saying to get it sorted ASAP. And so Josh is who I got the grandma digger from over there that blew out the servo. And uh, that's actually the new body for it. This, I was told I can actually say who it is now. This body is a replacement body for the other one. And this one's by Fat Cat Customs. And so that's who on Facebook does these. Uh, so it's a vinyl wrap, basically, that's been put on. And then he painted it in some sections. So, yeah, it looks real good. Even on this one, there's a back on it. So that just basically just needs things tightened down. This is a great truck, um, really great truck. So I got this uh, 1257 TG. They're a high torque-ish servo. These things are great at about 60 bucks for power and monster trucks. Way overkill for a retro, but not when I'm driving it probably. <laughs> I know I'm a terrible driver. So, and I do have a Hulk body up there that I'm probably gonna get rid of. I'm probably gonna sell it. Uh, Cause I don't foresee ever using it for anything other than a beater body. And it's kind of too cool for that. But someone's saying that the original Kyosho body of this has this kind of ripple, is that is that what you're saying? Somebody's saying? James is saying that? So this is a Kyosho body. Jimmy, what are you saying I do, honestly? You're local to me, basically. I miss that. Oh, you're asking if I'm live on Facebook. Anyway, so now we're not talking at all more about what this live video is for. <laughs> so um, I think we'll... Let's see if we can move it. The little engine that could. You got it. Nope. Doesn't help that there's the wheels are kind of stuck on this. There it goes. You got it. There it is. It's like the little dog that's always pushing around the big dogs. There we go. Anyway, somebody's asking about the flex on this. I think it's not bad. I mean, scale-wise, it's pretty good. I'd say you got an inch and a half flex. Something like that. Yeah. Luis is saying her. So Luis or Lewis? I might have been saying it wrong this whole time. But he's saying Chihuahua. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you have fun RCing. We've been going for now almost an hour, and most of that hour has not been <laughs> doing the live assembly of the barrage at this point. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and kill the uh, uh, the Heath, the RC Hunter said he sold. He's going to buy one. Uh, the little guys are $99.99. Got to get them here in the U.S. at your local hobby shop. That's the only place you can get these. I think it's kind of cool what Horizon is doing and that they've made, made the ECX line. Hopefully it doesn't kill the ECX line, but made it so that there's not the competition for this line with the online stores because, you know, Horizon Tower Hobbies are kind of close, very close. And so you're basically competing against your distributor. And so this, I think, makes it kind of a little bit more fair in some ways to 
the little hobby shops to have their own line of things that you can only get if you go to the store. And so I think that's pretty cool. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. The ECX Barrage UV is the one that I have, but they've also got a honcho style. Um, I just know that everybody had that style, so I want to get something a little different. And uh, I do like this one. So good night, everybody. Everybody saying good night in here. Have fun, RCN. We'll catch you next time. As soon as I figure out how to how to end how to how to end you. I need to end you.